All right, got my backpack, got my hat. I'm all set to go. Let's head over to Hollywood Studios and take a look at Galaxy's Edge. So, to get to Hollywood Studios from Pop Century, you have to take the Skyliner over to the Caribbean Beach. Throughout every time. Career. So, like I was saying, you have to take the uh, Skyliner from Pop Century to the transfer point at Caribbean Beach, and then you can take that. I think there's like four different locations that one spawns out to. This one goes to Hollywood Studios then. Um, and I can already see the Tower of Terror, so we're just about there. Um, and we're gonna probably head straight back to Galaxy's Edge. We may hit up Star Tours on the way if, if the line is short enough for that one. We may do that one first thing. All right. So the crowds don't seem that bad. I mean, it wasn't that long to get into security and the lights for the park tickets aren't bad at all. Might be a good day. That is a pretty building. All right, so Runaway Railway was a 45 minute wait for Star Tours and only five. So that's the one we're gonna do. This is really cool. It's like that one I got for the 50th. That's the same price too. Uh, 34.99, yep. Very cool. It's always hard to show the inside of rides that are 3D like Star Tours, but that ride is really fun. So we are gonna make our way over to Muppets, and that one looks like it's about, that's a 10 minute wait, awesome. And then we'll go over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The only issue with Muppet Vision 3D is that where you exit, you have to walk all the way around again to get to the entrance of Galaxy's Edge. So we got a little bit of a walk, but now we're gonna head over to Galaxy's Edge. I'm kind of bummed that rail, Runaway Railway was so long of a wait, being like 45 minutes. The park literally just opened like a half hour ago. So these rides are filling up quick. Uh, not sure if I'm gonna get on uh, Resistance or Smuggler's Run. Both of those are well over an hour wait. So I could get the Fast Pass lane, or I don't know if they are, or uh, light, Lightning Lane, sorry, still not Fast Pass, or Disney Plus or Genie Plus. Uh, I'd rather not spend more money than I have to, but we'll see. I can see why the rides have such long waits. I mean, just the lines for the photos are pretty long, too. Take a look at the gift shop real quick. That got a wee bit crowded in that shop, but I ended up picking up two pins, which I will, or a pin and a keychain, and I'll show you those later tonight. Um, but yeah, I can totally see why everything's crowded. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, especially when you get into it, very crowded area, not like the front of the park. Still, still a very sought after place to go to in Disney. These are really cool coins. I got one for the Mandalorian, New Republic credits, and some Galactic credits. $29.99. I absolutely love this gift store though. Look at the, the detail here. It's so cool. We've got absolutely beautiful weather today. And the Millennium Falcon. So I went with a blue milk, but with rum. So this is going to be different. <laughs> so I'm over here sipping my 
blue milk and rum. I'm looking at the droids. And I happen to see this one. I'm not sure if any of you remember, but I built a Lego. It's like the Viper droid. Very neat. Yeah. Well, since the lines were so long for Rise of Resistance and Smuggler's Run, we ventured over into the Toy Story territory. We're gonna try our hands at Toy Story Mania. And it looks like Toy Story Mania went up like 15 or 20 minutes since we were in there, so good timing. But I am starving, so I'm gonna try and find something for lunch, and we'll think about what we wanna do after that. All right, so just finished up with lunch. We're gonna go see what they got for shopping. Definitely got a lot of 50 stuff, light year. Bunch of light year stuff. Some ears, looks like Pop Funkos. Plenty of shirts, shorts, and pants. I thought this was really cute. So that's how the price tag. $22.99 for that little plushie. Got your Toy Story section. Monster Zinc. And then you got your up section. Inside out, which is really cool. I don't see much of that stuff. And turning red. This is adorable. How much are you? $19.99. This is a much, much, much better deal than the Eve plushie. That is insane. And that is a big mug, too. Not gonna lie, I am a huge fan of the dark blue or navy blue, whatever you want to call it, and the gold. That's a really cool color combination. They got so much merchandise for it. Very cool. Well, Hollywood Studios was awesome. Got in a bunch of rides this morning, did some shopping. And I have a strong disdain for people who wear sweatshirts and pants and do not sweat when it's 105 degrees out. How do, how do they do it? That's witchcraft. I think half the fun for me on these trips is just getting into conversations with random people. Um, on the Skyliner, I got into a conversation with a guy. We were talking about the market, we were talking about our jobs. We had enough time to spare. We were both coming from Hollywood Studios and made our way back to Art of Animation and Pop Century. And it's fun just to talk with local people and just have some nonchalant conversations. It makes the trip more enjoyable. Despite the heat and how muggy it is down here, I mean, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Soak it all in before winter gets here. I need a shower. I need to relax and I need a shower. But yeah, I don't understand how people can wear pants or like long shirts or, or sweatshirts. I saw a guy in a hoodie today. Dude, you gotta be burning up. I don't know how you're doing it. And they got the Skyliner shut down right now, so they definitely know something's coming in. I am really bummed. We got all that thunder, made such a big fuss coming in, and we got no rain out of it. Well, this was weird. Um, it's a little later at night. It's 9 o'clock at night now. Uh, we finally got our rain, thankfully. It only lasted like five minutes, but we finally got it. So cool. While I was having some Mike and Ike's for a snack, and I got to give up Mike and Ike's now. I, I can't do anything about it. I have to give them up now. Um, it took a part of my tooth out. The last time this happened was about two or three years ago now. I want to say about, yeah, about two years ago, where it cracked a tooth. It was a, a Skittle for the Halloween party, and I bit down on it and it cracked my tooth in half. But that one didn't really matter as much to me 
because it was a root canal tooth, so it was already dead. For this one, it's a little different. It's basically an ex exposed nerve, and it kind of sucks. Uh, tomorrow I need to get in contact with my dentist right away and tell them it's an emergency. I need to come in and talk, talk to them and show them the tooth. Um, but hopefully I can get that taken care of Friday as soon as I get back. But I have tomorrow, which is Epcot and the Food and Wine Festival, which kind of sucks because I need to eat on this side of my jaw only and make sure nothing gets over here. Um, and we might not eat as much just because I was looking at the prices and it's expensive. It's not cheap to do that. Um, people can easily, easily spend over a hundred and something dollars just tasting stuff from different points around the world. So I may do a few of them, but it's not going to be a whole lot. The Gardens of the Galaxy ride is my, my go-to ride. Unfortunately, I can't really film in that one uh, from what I've been reading. So I wanted to go into it kind of blind, so I haven't been watching a whole lot of videos on the actual ride itself. But as far as what people are telling me, I can't really vlog on the inside. So. Just giving you guys a heads up now, but I will try to go on a couple of the other rides as well there. But it's mainly going to be looking around the different pavilions and doing a little bit of shopping. I've been looking forward to stepping back into World Showcase in Japan and Norway and Germany and seeing what the stores have. And um, It's been something I've been looking forward to for months. So uh, that's going to be the main focus tomorrow. And uh, today was... A fun day at Hollywood Studios. Uh, so I'm going to hit the hay and I will see you guys tomorrow morning.